So friends, if you are in a situation where you are not able to see the menu bar in your Mac, which is at the top, and also if you are not able to see dock, which is at the bottom, then in this situation, how can you solve this problem? I'm going to guide you through each and every step. But before that, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now, before showing you the troubleshooting steps, let me uh, tell you one thing that if I point my arrow at the top, you can see I'm able to uh, check out menu bar. But as soon as I point my arrow somewhere else, uh, menu bar is gone. Similarly, if I point my arrow down over here, I'm able to check out dock. But as soon as I point my arrow somewhere else, dock is gone. So it's not a problem. Uh, you just have to change few settings uh, to solve it. Now, all you have to do is just simply point your arrow uh, at the bottom and select system settings. If you're not able to do so, then you can just simply uh, press command plus spacebar on your keyboard. You can activate spotlight search and you can search for settings. Now, once you get system settings option, select it. Now, once you open system setting page, uh, all you have to do is on the left hand side, just go and look for desktop and dock option. And uh, once you select that on the right hand side, you get multiple options. Now over here, you can see there is an option of automatically hide and show dock. So currently the toggle is on, which is why I'm not able to see uh, dock over here. But as soon as I turn off this toggle, you can see now the dock is visible. Now it doesn't matter if I point my arrow at the bottom or not, still dock will be visible. And as soon as I turn on this toggle, again, the dock is gone. So if you, have, if you want to avoid this problem, make sure to turn off this toggle for dock. Now, what about the menu bar? Still, uh, whenever I'm pointing uh, my arrow at the top, then only it is visible. Now, again, to uh, avoid the problem, go to control center. And in control center, if you go down at the very bottom, uh, the second last option is automatically hide and show the menu bar. So currently you can see it is selected to always. You just have to select this drop down and you have to select never option. And as soon as you select that, you can see now the menu bar is visible. So these are the few steps you have to follow in order to avoid this problem. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.